everybody welcome to another episode of bible in a year this is day number 44 we're going to look at numbers chapter 5 and 6 so i'll be focusing on one passage one part mainly on chapter 5 but i want to just read something to you in john chapter 8 the bible says and early in the morning verse 2 he came again into the temple so the context here is the temple then there was a woman taken in adultery and they set her in the midst, verse 3 and verse 4, and they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses the law commanded us that such should be stoned. What sayest thou? Verse 6, they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and this is important, and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. I love that. You know, it's a shame, you know, in some... Um, some modern translations put a notation in there and they say that these this portion of the bible of the gospel of john is is not found in the most ancient of manuscripts um and of course all they're referring to is sinaiticus and vaticanus they're not talking about the received text the texas receptus and of course has been tainted with uh, omissions and additions uh the sinaiticus and vaticanus but anyway it's an important passage of scripture, very important. Jesus Christ is addressing uh, what's been brought before him about a woman taken in adultery. And uh, so he stooped down with his finger, wrote on the ground. Verse 8, and again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. You say, what has that got to do with the book of Numbers? Good question. I cannot be exactly dogmatic on this, but there's a lot of questions as to what did he write. I guess my, my, my thought is, yeah, that would be interesting to see what he wrote or to know what he wrote on the ground. But what he's doing with the in the temple is related, I believe, to Numbers chapter 5. Uh, so, again, this, this woman is brought before um, Jesus and there's a big problem, of course. The problem is the man's not present. So they brought the woman. We found her in the act of adultery, but never brought the, the man. Um, obviously, you can't you can't properly deal with this situation if you don't have both parties in this. So anyway, there is a uh, there is a uh, um, connection here to chapter five. So when you read in chapter five, and you'll find out here that. In this chapter, God gives a, how can I say it, um, a uh, help to a woman who has been, uh, again, brought before, been accused of, uh, of adultery. Um, and God, I believe he set it up so that to make sure that people would not be falsely accused of doing something. And uh, so what God did was, and again, a really amazing book out there is this book called The uh, Chemistry of the Blood by M.R. D. Hahn. I have a copy of that, and it's just an amazing book. And M.R. D. Hahn actually goes into covering what this, what's going on here in Numbers chapter 5, and he calls it the lie detector test. And so what you have here, again, um, is a woman... Uh, who's been accused of being unfaithful, and she's put through this de this test, and it's taking the dirt, the sand uh, from the ground of the temple area, and mixing it in water. It's bitter water. She's supposed to drink it, and if she tells the truth, nothing will take place. But if she was lying, the Bible talks about the fact that her thigh would rot and her belly will swell in verse twenty one. And uh, so anyway, it's interesting to go through this thing. So what's what's interesting is in verse 17, and I believe it's related. Maybe Jesus in the passage in John 8 was pointing out uh, to the ones that brought uh, this woman who was taken in adult, who said they, they said was taken in adultery. Um, he was kind of alluding to the fact by touching the dust of the ground verse 17 in numbers 5 and the priest shall take holy water and earthen vessel and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle 
So you take the dust, mix it in with this water. And Jesus is writing in the, the, the dirt, the, the temple floor. He's writing. He's doing something. Is he referring to maybe this chapter? Or is he just, just writing in there trying to say, Hey guys, here's a case where you need to follow Numbers chapter 5. Of course, they didn't have the chapter numberings. But this is the case for this situation. You got this woman alone. You're saying she's committed adultery. Let's let's go through this test. And uh, so anyway, it was just interesting. You know, God is uh, way ahead of us. Amen. As someone once said, uh, stick with the Bible. And let science and education catch up. And uh, so and anyway, an amazing. By the way, if you can get a copy of that Chemistry of the Blood by M.R. Dehan, you'd really be blessed. There's so much the founder of the Radio Bible Class, a uh, really good resource, covers a lot of ground. He, Of course, he was an MD himself, and uh, I'm sure it'd be a blessing to you. Anyway, just a couple of thoughts here on Numbers chapter 5 um, in your reading on day number 44. Well, listen, God bless you. Hope we can connect again.